Hi, I'm David Price. I'm the General Manager of Our Strategies. Um, what I want to talk to you about today is a lot of our clients call up that they're small business owners and, and they really have trouble with managing staff and, and cancelling discipline. And what I always teach them is the salt shaker theory. This was documented in a book by Danny Myers, who is a New York restaurateur, and it outlines the principle of, of constant gentle pressure. So you may ask, what is the salt shaker theory? Well, the salt shaker theory is your standard is putting the salt shaker in the center of the table. And you need to understand as a manager or a business owner, customers, employees, we're all gonna move that shaker so it's off center. So it's not where your standard is, which is in the middle, it's off center. And if you get upset about customers, about employees, constantly not following your standard, <laughs> you're gonna go crazy. And this is what we see with business owners when they call up for advice to manage employees, is it's the little things, it just irks them, they think, their employees are doing it because they don't like them or <laughs> because they're not following. You, you need to understand you can't control human nature and it's always going to be an employee's role, not on purpose, to test your standards and move your standards. So what I want to go through today is the salt shaker theory and it's called constant gentle pressure. And I'll talk about it each one in its entirety and then we'll, we'll sum up how it all goes. So the first concept I want to talk about is constant and that's about having a culture of accountability and clearly letting people know what your standards are. So when we use the salt shaker analogy, you know our standard is it's always got to be in the middle of the table and there are times when you're going to have to have formal meetings um, but the real concept you need to understand here is you need to be consistent so every time someone moves off your standards so they move the salt and pepper shaker you, you need to be constantly enforcing that um, letting them know this is what you stand for this is what your expectations are and you can't not pull people up when it's not in the center six days a week and then one day a week enforce it because you're sending mixed messages to employees so this constant method is it's much easier to constantly have these conversations <laughs> constantly moving people back to your standards there are lots of little conversations and, and over time will get easier people all the time. This is a really hard management principle to actually imply, um, but you get it right and you're going to have less issues down the track. So the second principle of constant gentle pressure is gentle. And what gentle is about is you can't demean employees and constantly every time they deviate from your standard make a big show of it <laughs> and, and, and move them back to centre. Um, so you, you've got to be gentle when you're, you're applying your standards so you're not demeaning or, or degrading someone. Um, and it's really important when you're applying that the gentle pressure is to ask the employees questions ask them why they did that or, or why they didn't follow the standard and, and really get them on the journey and and plug the gaps that the questions you ask may may raise so they understand in a gentle you know dignified way that you're going to keep putting this <laughs> constant gentle <laughs> Um, and we'll go into pressure in a second on them until they understand that your, your standards are your standards and, and they're important to you and you expect them to be followed at all times.
So the last part is pressure, so constant gentle pressure. And the, the pressure part is not letting your standards slide and always bring into a forefront <laughs> when your standards aren't, aren't being applied. And it doesn't mean you need to come down like a ton of bricks, although there are situations where you will need to put heavier pressure on. But if you constantly applying the pressure and letting people know that these are your, your standards, it then doesn't become a difficult conversation if your standards aren't being followed in the business. So it's very important that you're consistent, you're gentle in how you approach it, but you constantly put in the pressure on. You let people know what the acceptable standard is and 99% of the time, people will follow that. If they don't follow that, um, it's in a much easier conversation with them because you can bring up all the conversations you've had <laughs> um, and it's no surprise to them when you do have to take action for employees not following your standards. So tying it all together, constant gentle pressure. Sounds really simple. Um, this is where most people struggle because it is it takes a certain leadership or management style to clearly articulate what your standards are, gently get people on board so they know what the standards are and applying pressure when they're not following the standards. And what it does is it builds trust with the employees because they understand that you stand for something. This is what your standards are. It doesn't matter who's not following it. You're gently reminding and guiding people back to where your center is. And, and what happens is you don't have these conversations where an employee hasn't been doing the right thing for three months. You haven't raised it with them. It's been niggling in the back of your mind and you're really upset that they're doing something and then you want to take immediate action and terminate them. Um, and, and that's that's not how you can do it. You know, for these small things, you, you need to be, you need to demonstrate that you, you've told them what the standards are. You, you've educated them on, on how you want things to operate. You've gently reminded them and guided them and assisted them, got them on board on what your standards are. And they've seen that you're consistent. So if anyone in your business including yourself aren't following those those standards you're you're there putting that pressure on ensuring that everyone understands what you stand for and at the end of the day if you don't want to apply this <laughs> principle you may as well close your business you know you can't get upset with people it's just the human nature that they test boundaries that they bend the rules you need to apply this good management principle so they understand what you stand for, they understand what you're striving for, they know that you're going to guide them gently towards the, the right direction and you do know on those occasions where people are blatantly not following your standards that you're going to put pressure on and take corrective action to ensure it's very clear. hope this has all been helpful. If you've got any questions about this, um, call up our strategies and, and we're more than happy to take you through it.